We're in the close, John blows up at Sinbad and Ron tells Frank about the shoplifting in Brookside. Where you last put it? You've seen it, Jackie. No, I haven't. You only asked. Hey, well, don't bother. Ace, hey, you two. I don't want each other's throats. Yeah, we're time to get lost then. We're supposed to be on holiday. Yes, I'm on holiday. Right. If you want something to do? Take this out to Frank's car. Uh, well, you haven't got time. Yeah. Jackie, I don't want you spoiling this holiday. It's a long time since your dad and I had a decent break. Yeah, well, let me stay here then. You're not old enough. We've had all this. Had all what? Nothing. Shape up, Jackie, and go and help. Right, and I think you want taken out. There you go. What have you got in this day? Bricks. All the things you wouldn't think about. Hey, you did pack me good suit, didn't you? I really didn't want to go to our Michael's premiere. I packed it. You didn't mention it to him, did you? No, of course I never. We want it to be a surprise, don't we? Do you think Frank and Lynn will keep an eye on the kids? Costly will. Wow! Oh, hiya. What's the occasion? Going to a party? Nah, I've just come back from the interview at Lewis's. All right, how'd it go? Oh, I'm not sure. Don't think it did very well. Why not? I was dead nervous. I was dreading having to do a written test. Why? Oh, I, I was worried they can't read me writing. It's all right, though, I didn't have to do one. Well, it'd be nice if you got it. After all this upset with Rod. Yeah. How is he, by the way? Oh, he's back soon. He's having his stitches out. That might be him now. Better go. Suppose it was you who took the last tea bag, was it? I hate coffee first thing. It's hardly first thing. No work today? No, I stuck an extra day's holiday on the bank holiday weekend. What are you doing today? You've got to do something. You sound like your mother. Yo, she's right. I don't know why you don't revive your charity walk. No. I mean, you had everything planned. You've had people to sponsor you. I said no. <laughs> Sitting here wallowing in self-pity shouldn't be a career, you know. I just want a bit of peace and quiet, all right? An undisturbed day. Any objections? You're not helping yourself, you know. Well, it's what I want to do. Getting dressed might be a start. How far is it to Edinburgh, Dad? Oh, I don't know, son. Must be, what, 200 miles? I'm more than that. That's further than I've ever been. Hi, Hi love. Uh, where should I put these? Yeah, I'll see to it. No, then, yeah. She's taking the kids to her sisters, then she's picking up a few things, you know. What's all this? Right. I want all this stuff back in the house. Hey, right, Dad, looks like we can take something to do. Hey, not that much. There's loads to go in yet, suitcases and all kinds of stuff. It's not fair. Let me tell you, take the game, boy, if you want to play with something. I want to meet Mega Drive as well. Yeah, and where were you going to plug it in and the tents off, lad? And hey, fetch them suitcases back with you. No chance. There's no room for junk like that. Ron, they're gonna have to do something. Yeah, but she doesn't have to bring that thing. Dad, it's not a thing, it's a tiger. Uh, excuse me, madam, haven't you forgotten something? Here. I bought you the Walkman, didn't I? Take that, the whole campsite won't want to listen to that flaming thing. Yeah, I'm still taking me magazines. Hey. Ah, Sam, was exactly the same, Ron. Morning, campers. Oh-ho! I don't think you're getting away without paying your window, Molly. Doesn't miss a trick, does he, eh? Yeah, I'm Ed. Come on, Winders. How are you, Ron? Now nah, you have to see the missus, mate. Oh, but she doesn't pay for the shops, though, does she? <laughs> Thank you, Shane. So it's the low road to Scotland, then, is it, Frank? Because I tell you what, mate, any more weight on that suspension than it certainly will be, won't it? <laughs> Dad, just burst open. Your mother's as bad as you, you know, wants to take a flaming house full. If I take my Game Boy, can I have some new batteries to go with we'll it? We'll see, Tony. All right, we'll see. We need some more of them bungee cords, Ron. Get yeah, okay. I'll get some in a minute, Frank. It's all right. I'll stay. Okay. Thanks very much, dude. 
And hey, don't worry about the place. You go and have a good time. I'll look after it for you. Thanks a lot. It's the shop we're worried about. Is it OK if Marcia still helps Jackie? Yeah, it's all set. No problems. Yeah, we need some more bungee cords today. Oh, right. In a sec. <sighs> oh, hang on. I've just got it. Here you go. All right, John. Having an early night. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you're 50p short, mate. I mean, I counted it. It's £4.50. Ah, oh, look, anyone can make a mistake, but look, there's only £4 here. But I counted it. Ah, oh, look, John, there's enough robbers around here, mate, without you starting. What do you say? I was only joking. You call me a thief. Eh, uh, forget it, you know, I made a mistake. Don't you dare call yeah. me a thief, do you understand? God's sake, Dad, get inside, you're making a holy show of yourself. You call me a thief. It doesn't mean it, John. It's just his way. Hi, you love. Now you've missed all the hard work. How about now? You ever packed up two kids for a weekend away? <laughs> I suppose they wanted to take a house load, did they? <sighs> How did you guess? Yeah, but you've missed our verse of that performance as well. Hi, Lynn, all set? Yeah, just get my stuff out of the taxi, friend. Thank you. Hey, you can't stop me from these. I wouldn't dare. Uh, come on, in the car, you love. That's how we got going. What's this, lad? My tent and sleeping bag. Hello, Dizzy. Hiya. What's all this up for? A tent and sleeping bag. Oh. Well, that was very clever, wasn't it? You had no right calling me a thief. All right, I know I am, but I just don't want people like him saying that I am. Don't you think Mum's embarrassed enough without you acting like a madman out there? Cup of tea. Little tea bags. I suppose I'll have to go and get. Will you go? You can't stay out of shops for the rest of your life, you know, Dad. Just this once, please. Jackie's knee, then. Still? My head's touching the roof. Yeah, well, that's the reason. Well, we're ready to walk. It doesn't mean you walk, not in the boot. You'll just have to wait. Ten minutes ago. They said I had the right experience and everything. See, he told you not to worry, didn't I? The only thing is, they've offered me a position in the Manchester store. I said, OK, but I don't know how I'm going to get there. Well, it's only 35 miles. Oh, that far? It's nothing. I know people in Oxford that commute to London every day, and that's nearly 60. Well, if they can do it, so can I. It's easy on a train, isn't it? Rod, I got the job. They phoned me practically the minute I got home. Oh, well done. It's great. The only thing is, I've got to work in the Manchester shop. Manchester? It just means getting the train. Peter says he knows loads of people who go much further to work in London. That means you're going to have to be travelling for about three hours a day. Oh, but it's a great job. It's perfect. I think it's worth it. Oh, God, I'm sorry. I've got to ask how you got on. Well, the doctor said it's healing up all right. And what about your eye? Well, it's still a bit tender, so I'll have to keep this on for a while. How long? I don't know, a few weeks or so. I don't think it'll scar too much. No, that's what the doc said. Come on, I want to go home and phone my dad. Well, I won't be in a minute. I just want to see how our Tracy's getting on in the salon. See if she's seen anything suspicious. Well, they're not going to come back, are they? No, but I just want to check, see if everything's all right. Look, you go and ring your dad. He'll be made up for you. OK, see you in a bit. See ya. Bye. Over the moon, isn't she? Yeah. I'll see ya. A week ago since it happened. Seems like years ago. Oh, you didn't come round to go all morbid, did you? No. How's it going? Not bad. The girls are really good. Business is healthy. Yeah. You could do it a place like this. I will do one day. I'll just do a few more years on the Caribbean cruises and I'll have enough for a franchise. 
Are you going back? Just keeping me options open, really. It's not as glamorous as you think, you know, sailing around the Caribbean. Hiya, Tracy. Hiya. Didn't know you were working here. Oh, it's just temporary. I'm just standing in for Angie while she's away. I wondered, uh, could you fit me in for a quick trim? Um, I think Shad will be free in about five minutes. Oh, I'd prefer you to do it. I only have to come back just before we close, then. There's nothing sooner. Right. I'll see you later, then. Bye. Do you see much of him? Yeah, we've been out for a drink a couple of times. He's a bit of a smart ass, really. Diana likes him. Oh, did you see her? She got the job. Yeah, I don't know, yeah. So what's the face for? Well, I had these stitches out this morning. I don't know what to tell Diana. Why? Well, my eye. The doctor doesn't know whether I'll regain my sight. Mm. Well, the thing is, if I tell Diana, she'll go on and on at me to pack up the job. Yeah, maybe she's got a point. Yeah, well, if I end up with one eye, I might have to pack up the job anyway. I don't know what I'll do. Well, you can come with me, can't you? I watch the telly. I don't want to spend all my time sitting through lectures about it. Keith, you might learn something. I thought we were coming up to show you vid. I thought we could have a bit of a laugh once that was over. Look, I've got a couple of seminars at the TV and Young People's events, and that's it. And anyway, I thought you were always saying you can cop off better without me. Jackie, how you get, love? Stretch your legs. Come on, we've still got a long way to go. Well, come on. Stay to this one. Six GCSEs, she still sits there reading garbage. Hey, John was a bit OTT with Simbad this morning. Did you hear him? Yeah, yeah. What was it all about, you know? Well, he's a little bit of a strain these days, old John. Am I? Well, just between the two of us, but, uh... Well, Simba was a bit closer to the truth than he thought, actually, Frank. Look, this is definitely between the pair of us, all right? Yeah. But, uh, John Harrison had an official caution off the police yesterday, shoplifting. John! Some store in town. He's already pinched the tinder sardines off me and some tape cassettes off Jimmy Corker. Oh, I can't believe it. A respectable fellow like him. I know what you mean. I, I ain't going to make that on the way back. Look, keep it quiet, all right, Frank? Wouldn't do John any good if we had got round. I can imagine, mate, yeah. This is one blind date you shouldn't miss. Bruce Willis meets Kim Bassinger tonight at nine on Living. Five houses in one morning. Look, do you want me to drive? I'm not one yet with a garage. Left, no, right! I can tell you now, I'm not missing the match. I said right! Oh, gosh! Quick, get a bag, Caroline. Go on! Now, a cert to home makes house hunting less painful. With thousands of houses online, it's easier finding the one you want. Do your homework first. Assertahome.com Mum! Look what I've done! Would you like a bigger salary, promotion, or maybe a new career? Call ICS now on this number to find out how to improve your prospects by studying at home for those essential qualifications. With ICS, it's so easy and enjoyable. You use the material provided to study in your own time and at your own pace. When you have successfully completed your course, you'll receive a recognized qualification or an ICS diploma as proof of your new skills. All your course material is delivered right to your door. You could learn bookkeeping, 
child daycare, child psychology, fitness and nutrition, TV video and hi-fi servicing, PC repair, business management, hotel and catering management, desktop publishing, computer programming and many, many more. A better career could be waiting for you, so call ICS now free of charge on 0500 30 33 88. That's 0500 30 33 88. Screen Shop, 24-hour TV shopping. Digital Satellite Channel 645. It's the shop on the box. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost. Living is proud to present Whoopi Goldberg and Oprah Winfrey in Steven Spielberg's epic, The Color Purple, a living premiere tomorrow at 9. Exactly Leicester Square, is it? Well, it's a step near it, isn't it? Hey, come on, get the stuff out the van. I want to get down to Princess Street and give off some of these leaflets. Right. <sighs> what the best dressed campers wear in this season? Eh, uh, what the best dressed executive producer is wearing for his premiere. <sighs> you sure you two don't have something to eat before you go? Nah, Frank, we'll get something up in Edinburgh. Look, uh, are you too sure that you don't mind us getting off like this? Of course not. You'd be stupid to miss your son's big night. Come on, Robin, let's go move. I know we'll miss the bus. Never mind the bus, take the car. You sure? We don't need it, are we? Oh, thanks a lot, Frank. Sorry, it's not a limo, Dee. Oh, thanks, Frank. <laughs> well, how do I look? Perfect. Uh, we're taking our mic and Keith out for a meal, so we'll be back about... Twelve-ish. Just go and enjoy yourselves. Hey, and you two behave yourselves, all right? <laughs> They'll be fine. See ya. <laughs> Bye. Ta -da. Ta I suppose you're uh, pretty booked up. Not here, socially, I mean. No, no, I wish I was. Actually, I'm going to see some of the girls from the old salon tomorrow. And then my nan wants me out tea on Sunday because she's got some old friends coming around or something. Nothing fixed for Bank Holiday Monday yet, then? Uh, not yet, no. Well, something will come up when I see the girls. How do you, uh, how do you fancy keeping me company? Keeping me company? Sounds like something my nan would say. <laughs> All right, then, how about, um... I'd like to take you out on Monday, if that's OK. I don't mind. Great. Nice, how's that? Fine. Nice, oh, I like this. Um, OK, I'll do a scene from a movie. <laughs> this is, uh... No, I won't, actually. I've got one. I've got one. You got me up, Scotty. <laughs> um, let's do something other than impressions, maybe. Oh, I know what I'll do. Uh, oh, oh, this. Oh, yeah. Like this. I think our mic's part of all this. Yeah. Ron, you do know where this White Hart Hotel is, don't you? I don't want to be late. Yeah, it's just a few hundred yards up the road. You get the first light there, so whatever they call it. Any mm. request, anyone? Tony? Any requests for Frank to play? How about you, Jackie? Can I serenade you with anything? <laughs> How about a game of cards? 
Yeah, can you two play three card brag? <laughs> oh well, back to the old guitar then. Play that one you've got on a record. Since you've been gone, I've had my shirts done, I've had my hours clean. Ain't getting thin, but one thing I know, nobody bothers the toast like you. Eh, uh, I think I'll go for the war. Well, don't go far now. Be dark soon. Are you sure this is it? Yeah. It says here the White Heart. But this is just a pub. It was some big posh hotel with a function suite. It's nothing special. Well, this place isn't, that's for sure. Oh, you said this is a hotel. I didn't. Listen, what's my cut of the ticket money gonna be? There's hardly anybody here. It's only the festival. You're not gonna get many people here, are you? Oh, there's five films on the board outside. Which one's yours? This is last up. Last? Why? Mike, look, it's about to start. Will you take a seat at the back there? Hey, you want a better one than that? Come on, look, don't you? What's the problem? Just watch, will you? And then he says, I am Teddy Christian's uncle. Oh, you should have seen his face. It was brilliant. Hey, yeah, Edge fans coming out of us. It's top at night down Edinburgh, you know. I can't. There's some good clubs, you know. We can't wait for him to come back then ask him. At that time of night, Miss, that's a good one, honest. Yeah. Well, how about tomorrow night then? You look all shy, all right, but. Oh, yeah, all right then, yeah. Hi, love. How are you? I was just about to come looking for you. Um, I think it's time you went inside now, eh? Uh, yeah, all right. Well, good night then. Yeah, good night. Not exactly a PG certificate, was he? Don't say things like that. You guys over there made the other videos. Anyway, thanks for coming. Hey, hang on, hang on. What about the ticket money? Dad, we can sort that out when we get home, can't we? Well, we thought you and Keith might come out for a meal with us. Well, you know, celebrate. Yeah, no, we can't. Why not? You've finished, haven't you? Well, we've got all the gear to put away, haven't we? Oh, yeah, right, sir. Well, that's all right. I'll come back after and give you a hand. Look, Mum, if I knew you were coming up, then that would have been all right. But we're going out with a few of the others that we've met, you know, to talk about it and that. You understand, don't you, Dad? Yeah. Yeah.
He didn't really want us there, did he? Ah, yeah, well, I suppose he was a bit embarrassed about that place, wasn't he, eh, after all the hype he's given us? It was a bit of a fleeper, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we'll hang on for the invite next time, eh? Won't be long till our Jackie and our Tony will be growing away from mm, us. Roll on. It's quiet, isn't it? And dark. I think you better hang on to me, haven't you? <laughs> oh, it's lovely and peaceful, isn't it? Aye. Hold on. What's that noise? What the? What are you doing up there? Oh, well, I was just playing this. Get down here now. What are you doing out here in the dark? Why aren't you in the tent? We went for some chips and... Where's our Jackie? Oh, she's with some lad. What lad? What the bloody... Get out of this bloody shit! What? What the hell's going on here? here? We're doing any of that on a small town Go on, town Go on, you heard me beat it! That you Rock. can't do that! Oh, can't I? Rock. You're only a schoolgirl, aren't you? You're only just 16! I can do all I can, I can do yes. what I want! You just listen to me now. You get a call, I'm 16, I've left school and I'm not going back! Oh, yes, you are, madam! <laughs> <laughs> Can we clear the set, please? For a free mini dish and digibox call... <laughs> to get one of these mini dishes free, call 08702 42 42 42 now. Please. Cut to the logo. Cut to the logo. Meet 17-year-old Cale Stiglick. New series, Our Hero, today at 4.30. Just watch it. Now on Living, Tracy and Peter have a date and end up in the spotlight in Brookside.